So that really tells you how good of control they have. Tanner! When it comes to kitchen gear, there are few greater pleasures than saving space, reducing clutter, and avoiding food waste. Whether you're cooking for just one or two people, have a household with diverse dietary needs, or just don't have that much kitchen space, we've tested some great options for scaled down kitchen equipment. The fact is, bigger isn't always better. Lisa and I are gonna show you some of our favorite small gear so you can decide what is right for you. First up, Hannah. All right, so the first piece of equipment I wanna talk about is this small two-quart saucepan. And whether you're cooking for one to two people, whether you have a small apartment, whether you have a giant mansion, I think this size saucepan is super useful. I use this all the time to heat up leftovers, oatmeal, I made stovetop mac and cheese for one in it right now, I'll show you in a minute. This is our winner here by Allclad. It has a long, ergonomic, super comfortable handle. It's tri-ply, which means it's made from three pieces of metal sandwiched together, so it's super durable. This is a pan that will outlast you. <laughs> You'll be giving this to your kids. All right, let's check out some of this mac and cheese. If you already have a four quart pan, a two quart pan can be a super useful addition to your cookware collection. It's just a handy size I find myself reaching for all the time. If you don't have a saucepan and you're short on space or cooking for one to two people, a two quart saucepan might be a good starting place before you rev it up to the four quart. So the next piece of equipment I wanna talk about, rimmed baking sheets. We absolutely love these at the test kitchen, but I wanna turn you on to their smaller siblings, which I actually reach for more nowadays. I'm gonna put this big boy away. Also, the only difference between these ones is I've had this for like five years, this for two years, and I just got this. It's okay if they're a different color, they're actually better after they get a little dark. These are both by Nordicware, as is our half sheet pan winner. This fits in my toaster oven. It's the most perfect size for toasting nuts so they're not too spread out and get burned on a big pan. Small pan keeps them contained. Two or three chicken thighs and a side of broccoli on here. They're extra reinforced. They're really, really sturdy. Whether you are short on storage space, maybe cooking for one person or two people, or don't wanna wield a big pan that you have to flip around and clean, these pans are a fantastic option. I really do think I actually reach for these more now than I do for my big pans. All right, so the next piece of equipment I wanna to talk to you about is a smaller cutting board. You know, a big cutting board is nice, right? Because you can have everything there. You can cut something and move it over here and cut something and move it over here. And that's great, but they can be, oh, such a bear. I like personally to get a smaller board and then use mise bowls or small trays or small rimmed baking sheets to dispense my food after I've cut it to make more room on my board. It's a lot easier to wash, a lot easier to maneuver. And this still has a reasonably good amount of working space. This is our winner from OXO. It won because it's lightweight and thin, but it has these rubber grips, so it really stays put on the counter. We also love this channel around here. It's got a juice channel in case you're cutting something extra juicy. It keeps your counters clean. This is a fantastic small cutting board, and it's something that can really save a lot of space if you're tight on space or if you just don't need that much board. Next up, kitchen tongs. OXO makes our winner, and we have all different sizes of them. I wanted to show you this for comparison. I've got three here. These are grilling tongs. What you get in the length is to move your hand away from the heat. So we prefer to keep these just on the grill. Next up, we have 12 inch tongs and nine inch tongs. You'll notice that the tips are coated and uncoated. These have a little more grip if you're grabbing slippery things, but these, you don't have to worry about the tips getting messed up and they're heat proof. Coated or uncoated, that's a personal preference. I like to stock both, frankly. If I had to pick one, it would be uncoated, but I do like both. The shorter ones is gonna offer you some space saving convenience. And these nine inch tongs are super useful. I really love them for tossing salads. Be really gentle and turn your greens over softly. I love that extra control. They're super secure easy to lock, comfortable to hold. They have these nice grips on here and they had really secure pincers. That was important. Not all of the pincers we tested, you know, some of them didn't even come together all of the way. These were really precise, agile, comfortable, and truly felt like an extension of our hands. And that's why OXO has won our tong testings across the board. Do you use tongs in your kitchen? How do you use them? Tell us in the comments. And now let's go to Lisa with some of her favorite space saving gear. 
So the first thing I want to talk about is this. This is the OXO Little Salad and Herb Spinner. This one really removes all the water from the greens. It's got different pieces. It's got this outer bowl, which is nice enough to bring to the table with your salad in it. Or once you wash your greens, you can store them right in this bowl and put the whole thing in the fridge if you have that much space. To clean the top, it just pulls apart and pops back together and you can lock it down with this little thing so it's flatter and you can actually stack things on top of it. It just slides into a smaller space. So this is the OXO Good Grips Little Salad and Herb Spinner. I'm gonna show you how I use it. It's easy to use and it's actually kind of fun. I mean, they make kids toys that do this. So how hard is this? <laughs> Not very. So there you have it. Nice dry herbs ready to cook with. The next thing I wanna talk about is our favorite small food processor. This is our full size model, it's 14 cups. Unless you're doing really big jobs where you need a ton of capacity, this little guy might be the answer. So this is the Cuisinart Elite Collection four cup mini chopper and grinder. It's great for chopping herbs or making pesto. The blade sits close to the bottom and they go to the walls, so nothing really escapes. So it can chop or grind. It's got little rubbery feet so it doesn't scoot around and it has a really nice capacity. One of the nice parts about it is that the top has two little down slopes with a tiny hole in the bottom and you can put oil in there and it will drizzle in to the food processor at just the right rate. I'm gonna chop some, hey, guess what I have right here? Clean parsley. <laughs> so. Another piece of equipment you might want to think about is your skillet. Scale down, our standard size is a 12 inch. You can get a 10 inch or even an eight inch. Personally, I think the sweet spot is the 10 inch because it gives you a lot more flexibility. We've baked apple pies, cornbread, and sear steak or burgers or chicken or fish or vegetables. And this one is our favorite. This is 10 inches. Every skillet's measured from rim to rim on the outside. It's sturdy and heavy and thick. Those are important things in cast iron because you want that for heat retention. That is the superpower of cast iron. It gets hot and it can hold that heat. It's all metal, so there's nothing that's gonna wear out or burn off. What other piece of kitchen gear is there that you can say that's gonna be better in 100 years than it is now? This is never going to the landfill, and if it does, it's a natural material, it's all iron. So if you're trying to choose, you know, what kind of skillet should I get if I can only really fit one? I would say go for cast iron. I really thought about this because cast iron gives you a lot of different abilities, but you can also bake and roast in it. So this replaces a lot of other pieces of cookware that you don't have to buy or store. So if you like to bake, but you don't have space for a full-size stand mixer, this is your answer. KitchenAid Ultra Power Hand Mixer, and it stores really compactly. These are easy to wash in the dishwasher or by hand, and we really liked their open shape because things don't get stuck in there. And one of the things we loved about this is that each of the five speeds has a distinct jump in power. The other thing we loved is this is so light. You know, if you've ever used one of these, you are the stand mixer. You're holding the weight up and you're, you're going in there for a long time and the heavy ones just kill you. So this is great and we love it. I'm gonna whip some cream and show you how well it works. If you do heavy duty baking, bread doughs and stuff, this can't compete with that, but anything short of that, cakes, cookies, it's a great solution at a fraction of the cost and a tiny fraction of the space. All right, so there you go. As you can see, smaller kitchen gear can do just as good of a job as some of the big stuff. So whether you're cooking for one or two, have dietary needs or have space restrictions, we've got you covered. So for more information on all the products we talked about, check out the links below. Ask us any questions you have in the comments. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.